there are too many men in this world, especially among my men's self-improvement group, that are simply too emotional. Now I'm not going to tell you to suppress your emotions because emotions are integral to our character. It's integral to being a human being. But someone who allows their emotions to control their actions is someone who is unstable, someone who makes bad decisions. You can never make a good decision as long as it is charged with a lot of emotion. You have to, as a man, think things through. You have to be logical. You have to be rational. When you don't do these things, when you allow your emotions to take over, you put yourself in a very feminine frame. And you might relate to this specifically if this is you. Are you someone who is emotional? Do you struggle with women? Do women not really want to... Do you, do you find that women don't really find you attractive? They don't want to date you? You, don't, you never really get the women that you want? And the women that you do get, they tend to be very... Um, you know, they, they tend to be very dominating women. They tend to be very... Um, you know, they tend to take charge a lot. They tend to, you know, sort of walk all over you. They see you as, um, you know, you're more submissive in that relationship. Well, it's because you're an emotional man, because you put yourself in a feminine frame. And because of that, the polarity has switched. Instead of you being a masculine man and she being a feminine woman, you've come across a masculine woman. And because you're a feminine man, the attraction has obviously become much higher and so you know she's been naturally drawn to you but obviously that's not what you want so if you if you can be more masculine you can control your emotions you don't lash out in anger you don't you know suddenly start breaking down in tears because you're feeling upset about something you don't constantly moan. You don't constantly complain and be negative all the time. You know you see the you see the positive side. You know, be a masculine man, and you will find that women who typically are, be, are, are being very masculine, they tend to be less masculine because you're because masculinity is meant for men. It's natural to us. So when we are masculine, when we're, when we're in our masculine frame when we're in our element we become like this sort of presence and it's strong it's almost magnetic in a way and a woman that's masculine masculinity is not meant for women so when a woman tries to adopt a masculine frame sure it might work but it's not going to last it's not meant for her so it quickly crumbles when she's in the presence of a masculine man now, I'm sh now sure, you know, she might get repelled and she might go the other way. But a lot of the time, a masculine woman is only behaving in a masculine way because she lacks she lacks security in herself. She's insecure. And this is often a front. These kind of women, you know, tend to be more aggressive. They tend to be more um, manly, as you might call it. It's a front. It's her letting her guard up because she's scared of getting hurt. So anyway, if you're a masculine man, she's naturally going to want to be more feminine because the more masculine you are, the more a woman lets her guard down, the more she feels like she can be safe around you, the more she feels like she can trust you because you have that confident presence. And if you're confident in yourself, obviously other people are going to feel comfortable around you. They're going to feel safe. They're going to feel secure. So if a woman can feel safe and secure in your presence then that then allows her to be a more natural feminine self. And if you're a masculine man, you know, you don't get emotional about stupid shit. You're calm, you're collected. She's going to feel at peace, so she's going to start being a natural feminine self. She's going to open up to you. She's going to start treating you like a leader. She's going to she's going to be more submissive around you. Now, I'm not saying submissive as in like a slave or anything like that, but she sort of lets you take charge she lets you lead because she sees that you are a capable leader because you have demonstrated through your masculine presence that you are worthy of her respect and you will always get more respect from women when you are a more masculine man 
Now, you don't need to be aggressive. You don't need to be, you know, the, the biggest guy in the world. Because true masculinity is not what is on the outside. It is what is within. It is how you carry yourself as a man. And if you are an emotional man, this is something that you really need to work on. Because your emotions, or, or in fact your inability to control your emotions, will be your downfall. So, what I will say to you guys is, work on, work on controlling your emotions. Understand that it's a waste of your energy to, to succumb to them. And instead be calm, be stoic, be unreactive. And be a masculine man. Believe me, your life, your social circles, your relationships, they will transform. And, that, and that's all you've got to do. And believe me, it will happen. Just being more masculine. I run a men's self-improvement group on Facebook. If you'd like to connect with me more personally, click the link in the description. I hope this video was valuable to you. If it was, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed that video. That's what I'm going to say about that. Bye.